One day my father was extremely high on methamphetamines after days of not eating, sleeping, and thought I was trying to kill him. That's when he tried to kill me. He became paranoid and he thought that I was sticking a needle in his lung. I said, if you're really feeling that you're gonna die, let's just go to the hospital. He had a knife in his hand. I convinced him and he started driving me to the hospital. We got to the hospital and he circled around several times. I was telling him, kids are there by themselves. We had five Rottweilers in a little hotel room. I tried to jump out the car and I wasn't fast enough and he stabbed me twice in the chest, but I was still able to get out and run. I don't remember ever looking back. I just ran. He did come after me. I went right in for surgery. The knife wound was so deep, it was one centimeter from the sack of my heart. I told them my boyfriend did this. I don't want him to go back and get my children. They said, okay, okay. So when I woke up from my surgery, I told the authorities, those children are my father's children. I don't want to go back to him. When they said that he was in custody, you can only imagine the relief I got from that news. It's something I thought I would never experience. It was a rebirth. I call that my born again day because I almost died. Not only I almost died, I was free. How do you feel seeing that? Oh my God, I've never seen that footage before. I'm in shock right now. Wow. What do you, what do you think as you look at that? I am just... I have no words for it right now. That's. Is it good to see him shackled? It's good to see him shackled. It's very good to see him shackled, but it's also, it's sad. But how can a father do this, you know, to somebody? Like I still, I just wish every day that he didn't have to do that. You know, that he could just be your dad and I missed out on it. My girls missed out on it. You feel cheated out of what you didn't have and as well kids. as what did happen to you. Exactly, everything. My whole life, I feel, has been a cheat. And if it wasn't for my children, I would not be here right now, Dr. Phil. I wouldn't. I would have ended my life a long time ago. Are you glad that you have survived? I am super glad that I've survived, yes. But I know I have a whole lot more surviving to do what if I told you that some things were gonna to happen today that were gonna change your life? Well, I think good things or bad things. <laughs> it all depends. Sorry. No, I would expect you to check all the boxes off all right, the possibilities, right. given who you are. Mm -hmm. Good things. Good, I would be super happy.